Hi, I'm Robert Cowan from Square Mile Systems and I'm going to show you how the new Intelligent Network Connector Shape which goes together with our free Visio add-in can help you quickly and easily lay out network diagrams. This will help you lay out diagrams in minutes that might otherwise take hours. Here is an example network diagram in Visio showing call switches, switches, firewalls and routers. As you can see the port names for each of the connectors is labelled. And the connections are nicely laid out and spaced. People often spend hours tweaking such diagrams. We can show you how to do it much more quickly and easily. With this diagram and our intelligent connector I can right click and I can actually hide all port labels in one action. And then I can show them again just as easily. I can also pick on a port label and actually move it, reposition it manually. And I can reset the position if I want to go back to the automatic location. So how did I do this? Well with the help of the intelligent network connector and the free SMS Visio Utils. Let's look at some of the issues involved in network diagrams. This is a very simple network diagram with a couple of switches and routers and the standard Visio dynamic connector is being used to show cabling. I can connect new shapes like this and then set them to be straight lines if I want as I wish. So how can we show ports and other information on such a diagram? One way is to use the standard text box that comes with every shape. Click on the connector and type in a bit of text. In this case there's a port at each end and it's reasonably clear that port 27 here it belongs to the switch, port 2 belongs to the router. But if I move things around it's less obvious as to which port belongs to which end of the connection. So this technique doesn't work very well. Another way is to put manual labels at the ends of the connector, just a text. Select the text tool and I can type the text in. As you can imagine this can get quite painful for large diagrams but it does work. It's fairly clear. Of course there are problems. If I move one of the shapes then its labels don't move with it necessarily. If I group them, select them all here and group, now they do move with each other and that's great but if I move them over here then we can see that this label here is on the wrong side of the shape. So let's see how we can get around some of these issues. What can we do with an intelligent connector shape? This is a similar diagram but using the intelligent connector shapes. Now the big advantage here is that I can move shapes around and you'll notice that the positioning of the labels is automatically appropriate to the orientation of the shape. Each of these connectors actually has some shape data and it's the shape data that identifies the port name and that's the label. So here it's E2 and I can say it's E33 and if I click you'll notice that that has changed that port label automatically because it's associated with that shape data. As we saw previously I can move the labels because I've got little text handles that allow me to move them, move each of them manually. And If I want to, I can right click and reset the label positions to their defaults. The data associated with uh, these connectors, external spreadsheet, or it can be generated by the AssetGen uh, Connect system. So this particular diagram, the bigger diagram that we've seen at the start, was actually generated using data 
from AssetGen's Connect system where we maintain all the port information automatically and we can bring it out and label it and lay it out automatically. So I have demonstrated how easy it is with the free Square Mars Systems Visio add-in and the free Intelligent Network Connector shape to create and maintain network diagrams. If you use the AssetGen Connect system then you get the advantage of automatic updates to your diagrams. What might take hours to do manually can be done in minutes. For more details about the add-in and the uh, intelligent shape and how to download it, please see the link shown here which is also contained in the comments for this video. If you want to increase your skills further, then look at our Visio training course materials on the website aimed specifically at the needs of IT professionals. Thank you.